What's good, my lady community? Welcome back to another lovely, beautiful, sexy, amazing video with the equally lovely, equally beautiful, equally sexy, and equally amazing lit tie. I already know what time it is. Now, let's go. Now, guys, today we're going to be discussing the announcement of Jay Huss's new album and what to expect from this project. And we're going to break this down in way more detail. We already know what you got to do. You just got to like, comment, subscribe, subscribe to be up to date, and drop a banger like this one. And hit that note, because you ain't in need. So you'll be the first to know when one of these videos comes out. And without further ado, Let's get straight into it. Now, if you don't already know, yesterday, Mr. I Like My Fanta With No Ice himself, Jay Huss, took to Instagram to announce the release of his new album. What? What are you talking about? He posted a picture with the caption saying the following. The women in my life remove the confusion. They tell me F the vagina shit and let them have it. Go insane on them. KDA, album out mid-year and visuals. I'm back. I would like to sincerely apologize for the colorful language used by Mr. Hustler Baby. Now, I won't lie to you, that caption sounded like a bunch of nonsense, a bunch of word coast law, for loss of a better word. Just gotta say, I do not understand. But this is official confirmation that we will be getting a J Huss album in 2023. And honestly, this is great news. This will, of course, be his third studio album, following on from the both critically acclaimed albums of his debut album, Common Sense, in 2017, and his sophomore album, Big Conspiracy, in 2020, the latter of which went number one in the UK. So by the time this third album comes out, it would have literally been three years since Huss dropped a project. So... J Huss has some big shoes to fill here, I'm not going to lie, because the whole of the UK has been waiting for this project. And at this point, it has to be a masterpiece. It has to knock my socks off. Pause. The album has to be borderline orgasmic. Pause. Oh, ain't you sure that joke works, dog? It damn near needs to be two hours long because you can't be gone for that long and be coming back with a dead album. Don't do a Stormzy thing, Huss. We don't want that. Sorry for the collateral, Stormzy, but, you know, the album was garbage. LOL, I'm fucking dead. Speaking of Stormzy, I did make a video about a month ago discussing whether Huss or Stormzy could be considered the king of the UK for various reasons. And I won't lie, after that abysmal album from Stormzy, the crown is up for the taking. The crown was too heavy for Stormzy's head. It's fell off and it's rolling down the driveway right now. It's in, anyone can take it at this point. You can keep your stupid opinions in your stupid head. I can't lie. All Jay Huss has to do is deliver a solid project, get that project to number one and get a single to number one. And he'll be three for three on top quality albums, which... Even Dave can't say that he's got three solid albums yet. He hasn't got a three-peat yet, only two. And, that's facts. and then the number one single, just to cover off the, the numbers thing, if they try to say, oh, but Stormzy's got a number one single and blah, blah, blah. j Huss ticks that box as well, and he's Gucci. So with all that ticked off, the crown would have to go to Huss, honestly. Or at least him and Dave could be up for debate you know we could ha start having that conversation as you can see from the caption j Huss plans to drop this album in the middle of the year so i'm guessing the album will drop either between may or july that's usually a good time frame for summer album drops which i'm definitely expecting this album to be so we're gonna have some of those summer afro swing vibesy type of tunes on there that'll be you know, good for like summer day parties if you get what i mean but we'll get into that more a bit later whilst i'm sure a lot of you are ecstatic and excited by this news which don't get me wrong i am too i just kind of didn't feel anything when i first heard this news like it didn't hit me the way that it should have hit me like i don't really i don't know how to describe it but i think it's just got to a point with j huss where you know, it's like it's like if you're if you're trying to get some box you know and you've been You've been playing the long game for a little bit and then by the time it looks like you're actually going to get to give her the Charles Dickens, you've kind of just, you just lost interest. Like you could honestly just take it or leave it. Maybe that changes once you're actually in the Uber on the way to the crib to do the dance with no punch. You know what I mean? Maybe once you check into the hotel, then it all changes. You know what I mean? <laughs> Which if we extrapolated that and applied it to this J Huss situation, maybe that feeling will change once I hear the first single of the album or I see a music video from J Huss for this album. But until then, it just kind of feels like... 
whatever. It almost doesn't feel real, to be honest. And don't forget, this isn't the first time we thought the J Hus album was going to drop. Last year, we thought it was going to drop because A5 made up something on Twitter saying that the Hus album was dropping tonight and blah, blah, blah. And it never ended up happening. So we've been bamboozled a couple of times for this J Hus album. So f excuse me for thinking that it might not even be actually happening. Of course, let's talk about what we can expect from this project and more importantly, what we want to hear. Honestly, I think the most important thing we can expect is, you know, an answer for why J Hus has been gone for so long. I mean, he's done features here and there, posted like a couple videos of him rapping on Instagram or whatever. So he's not been completely off the grid but that's not really the same as him dropping music on his own terms you know what i mean like we want to know what Huss has been dealing with throughout the past three years you want to know what he experienced throughout the pandemic what life lessons that Huss has learned you know what galley's been dealing with that needed their chicken seasoning and all that good stuff yeah i know you want that we we want to know all of that atypical information from j Huss. And, you know maybe some information about his past that he's still yet to reveal because i'm sure he's got a bunch of stories on the roads that haven't made it to music as of yet and i'm pretty sure you know we're gonna get that i I think in terms of the type of songs that we're going to hear from this album i think you know we'll get a couple tunes for the mandem a couple of a couple hard tunes you know you might get one or two tunes for the girls to post themselves singing to on snapchat you're gonna get some afro beat slash afro swing type of tunes scattered in there as well and i think you'll just get one song where it's just hus rapping straight bars from top to bottom no stopping no starting just him going hard and you know if you want to save this video and come back to it when the album actually drops and let me know if i'm right or wrong feel free to do that but yeah i think in terms of the people that will be featured on there you'll probably get a dave on there a stormzy a fredo a burner boy that's if he's trying to go commercial with it you know if he's just not trying to do that then you might not get any features on it you, you might only get like one or two and who knows one of them might be his his sister that was on it last time so i don't know i don't know i don't know i don't know never really tell what Huss is doing you know what i mean but either way a new album's coming out this year and you know we should be excited for it in the words of heady one it's a bit of a sticky one still well let me know if you think about this in the comment section down below what do you think about the announcement of this j Huss album are you excited could you not care less who do you think is going to be featured on the album you let me know in the comment section down below don't forget to like comment subscribe we're on the road to 2000 subs you already know what time it is you can follow my personal ig at the only lit tnt if you care about what i do i'm not making these bangers for you i post updates on twitter as well so you might as well follow me on there because what else are you doing for your life absolutely nothing mate. let me know if you agree with me that j Huss is has the opportunity to take the crown from stormzy because i've seen some people on twitter saying that stormzy album's a masterpiece and to me it's, it's really not <laughs> you know what i mean but you let me know in the comments if you agree or not but yeah stay black and if you're not black stay whatever race you are i bet peace oh you ain't know i can sing <laughs>